There is nothing in this world that cannot be explained with logic and reason. Nothing in this world. Every fiber of the earth, every molecule reverberates in anticipation of the awakening. The abyss calls for me, Mr. Holmes, as it does for you. December 1879. It has been three months since I took over the advice from Becca. None of, not all my colleagues approved of the rule changes, so I'm now the only professor here. No matter, the hiring of several strong nurses will solve the personnel shortage. At last, my work can flourish without the impairment of his lesser mind. March 1880. The first payment has arrived from R. Our deal does pose risks, but the possible uh, possibilities are endless if, his, if he is true to his word. The first shipment of the chosen ones has arrived. R has sent a vast selection of broken mines. The work ahead would be difficult, but undoubtedly useful for my own research as well. Two birds with one stone. Now where is last one? Where did it go? Literally what? Really? Close, but I don't think this is the key. Oh my I god, the not key. <laughs> Alright, must get moving. I'm gonna do a preliminary little search around the rest of the room, like that. special about this and then we're gonna get the heck out of here into the kitchen no one here quickly now Watson quickly that's my boy Beautiful. Black Edelweiss's secrets. Huh. Who are they teaching and what are they teaching? Broken tooth, light colored enamel. The tooth of an adult male, likely lost in a beating. Only a couple of days old. The inside of the cuff is worn. It's been used often. But what are they trying to teach these fools? The writing is mostly gone. Phonetic symbols, perhaps. Hmm. 
mind they have me pick that oh a wax cylinder there is something recorded on it well there we are I bet you we can find Edison's lovely invention the phonograph oh The classic call for Cthulhu. For Targan. It's the only word in there that I can ever remember. Professor, trust my guide, the light of the abyss, for he shall enlighten our chosen ones. Make sure he is present and that our chosen utter nothing but the sacred words. And lo, the trance will begin. And we will be an inch closer to the universe beyond. Your work is essential as many of our flock do not speak our language. And time is of the essence. I would be be it would be best to work in groups, performing at least one seance per day of full week. Of course, the most se the most sceptical members will have to be tamed by your hands. In the meantime, my work continues on a physical method to maintain the trance state through the emitted light waves of caved lenses. Finally, my men in New Orleans will contact you regarding your the new shipment of Chosen. Make room for them if you, as you've done before. Ah. Uh. Oh, look at that, the key. I need the key, give me a key. You're so shiny. No, not the face. This note. The bank has the gems. My master has ordered me to send the first shipment of chosen ones. They will arrive within two weeks. Do not fail us, A. The new method at last started to show progress. Oh, it's Professor Gygax. This is this is sex. This is sex. This is sex. The success rate is four out of ten, and the failures are not responding to any external stimuli. Nevertheless, the phonetic systems can be declared. An undeniable success. Regardless of their native language or place of origins, individuals learn how to speak the chant without flaw. They learn it quickly and fluently despite lacking all mental autonomy. Regrettably, one of the chosen choose continues to resist. Isolation and deprivation resulted in strengthening their disobedience. Negotiation only in ignited anger and even after the direct removal of the frontal and temporal lobes, it seems all that was left was an innate desire to resist. This chosen one cannot be allowed to pollute the minds of the others. The, c the conclusion is inescapable. They cannot continue to live. I will see to it they are sent to the well. Phonograph. Looks as if it's been recently used. Yeah, we should use it. You probably shouldn't say it all that often like that. You're gonna call some shit you don't want. Dynamo machine provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair.
full grain leather straps, impossible to escape. Well, on the forearms, not the wrists. So that it's easier. A very professional brain dissection. Huh. But why on the bird? I like the soundtrack. <laughs> Get out of my head. Your mind rested before you go home. Find reverence for the one that fed tremble. Lord. Left your mind. Slip your soul. Oh my god. Please. No more. Stop it. Watson. John. Somebody. Wretched mortal. Do not fear what is to come. Let him rupture our world anew. Awaken. Awaken. And. That was weird. of the abyss is the light from the abyss oh. get out of my head look at all this crazy awesome art look at all of that isn't it beautiful I mean that's the same one from before but then as it continues it gets awesomer and awesomer so we found their little shrine Oh shit. A hydraulic elevator. How ingenious. I feel like I'm going to get caught. Watson, Holmes, what are you still doing here? Still? I was trying to find more information. Did you think I was just going to sit in my room twiddling my thumbs? I hoped you would to be to, to have your safety. The control, says the man who looks like he saw a ghost. He did. I am fine, Watson. You're hardly fine. You reek of congealed blood and chemicals. What did you see down there? All kinds of crazy shit. I'm afraid she's over there. I only found her like that when I entered. On my word. War. She was our biggest lead. Yet another wrinkle in our investigation. What do we do now, Holmes? Hush. Let me think. Well, let's go look at her. Figure out what happened. The patients here wear the same robes. Mm-hmm. No traces of blood on her clothes. Must have got on her white overcoat. The pencil is buried deep all the way to the brain. Instant death. Well, Becker got his revenge. That's the narrative, at least. Who knows if it's accurate. I had nothing to do with this, Holmes. I swear it. I know. A dead body was the last thing I expected to find in this office. Hello, Heidi. Heidi, how did she, it, end up here? We'd better inform the local police about this. It You're was right, Gerda. Person, but first, we need to Gerda got her revenge. So now she's running around somewhere naked. I need which is this letter? Men in New Orleans. 
Yes. And the letters from New Orleans Bank. We're going to New Orleans. Several pieces of evidence now point to New Orleans. It appears that the capture of the kidnappers have enlisted the services of the banking house of E.W. Gray to sell gems. I think I'm rather happy with how this went. We've got what we needed, Watson. This conspiracy reaches further than we thought. I don't suppose you've ever been to New Orleans? You are joking. I seldom do. Let's go. There's no time to waste. Very nice, very nice. There's nothing in this world that cannot be explained with logic and reason. Nothing in this world. Holmes? Hmm? You seem troubled. I'm not troubled, Watson. I am preoccupied. That place was awful. Inhumane. It would be natural to experience some feelings of shock or fear. Men reduced to gibbering imbeciles, numb beyond recognition, powerless to help themselves. When a doctor does go wrong, they are the first of criminals. They have the nerve and they have the knowledge. That woman did not deserve the title. Such casual cruelty for such selfish aims. I knew another man like that once. He treated my mother, perhaps even killed her, depending on who you ask. My sincere condolences. In the end, she was just a shadow of herself. Outline of the person I recognize, lacking all else. She was pushed until she cracked. Should you see me cracking, John? I must ask you to intervene. Nothing compels us to pursue this matter further, Sherlock. We can return to London, report what we have discovered, let more capable hands take over. Alas, there are no such hands. Were we to abandon our quest now, I fear no other would succeed in our stead. We know nothing of what awaits, what dangers lurk in the darkness. Nonsense. We draw nearer to New Orleans with every passing minute, and thus closer to the answers we seek. Those hmm. answers, for all their perversity and improbability, will, nevertheless, be the work of men. And that is a work I have studied well. So be it. I know you to be a diligent author, but if I may make one request, kindly omit my mother and her suffering from your tale. Of course. Where'd the music track go? The Outsiders. There actually is a thing in the books where he goes, uh, he's like, I've got to go to America to fight the KKK. That is pretty awesome. to my questions. I know. But you look exhausted. Why don't we find the hotel first? We shall rest when our investigation is over and not a moment sooner. I shall ask you to handle our bags while I search for the bank. You're looking pretty crazy. Oi, stop it, you. Our luggage. Good Lord, what have you done? That's my stuff. I'm sorry, mister. It, it was an accident. Who is the jewel seller, A? We're going to look at what I got. What? Lame. It's fine, it's fine. I'll just put everything back. Where are the socks? We don't wear socks. We wear foot gloves. <laughs> it's like, isn't that socks? No, we have a special British name for them. Because we British, ain't it, governor? Fine gemstone auction sale. Auctioned at the banking house of E.W. Gray. Unique deep black opals. Interesting. I bet you those are the gems that we're looking for. Oh, 
Well. Hello, miss. You're not going to talk to me. I don't know. No, not the newspaper. These, uh, handcuffs. <laughs> Are they yours? Oh, this never happens to me, sir. Honest, ask anyone. Ah, not an auspicious start, is it? Never mind, I'll handle it. You go on ahead. Alrighty. And here we are. Just kind of seeing where our boundaries are at this point. That's a boundary. Look. He's got a penny farthing just like home. I have no idea how he, anyone would even attempt to ride those bikes. Well, no way into the Harbor Master's office. Okay, so we've got to find E.W. Gray. Yeah, we have nothing marked on the map. Got a spot in mind. Actually, I'm not sure yet. Good, sir. Oh. It should be fairly easy to find the bank. Well, that's going to be Chinatown. May I ask you something? I've heard about that. Let me tell you. The bank can be found on the street up from the port. On the left side of the Harbor Master building opposite Chinatown. Wow. The banking house of E.W. Gray. Look at that. Hello? Mr. Frank Barnaby, right? Auction's about to start. Uh, sure. Barnaby, that's me. Myopia. Hidden tabloid newspaper, Abe Lincoln Alive. Alrighty. Something in the pocket. It's a sandwich. Guard at the bank is a real character, storing a sandwich in his pocket to save time while reading Abe Lincoln Alive makes him a critical thinker who questions everything, even the truth. Myopia is the result of constant reading to the detriment of one's health. Or, while reading Abe Lincoln Alive makes the guard a paranoid fool with bad taste. Otherwise, besides, yeah, that critical thinker seems to be correct. My name is Frank Barnaby. In the flesh. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, hold up. Written invitation first. Can I present another piece of identification? Nope. That's why we send the invitation. Let me be frank, though.
He's got a freaking gun. <laughs> okay. Holmes, over here. Any luck? No. no. They're holding an auction, invitation only. The good news is, I know who might have one. We need to find Mr. Barnaby. Who? Frank Barnaby, most likely a local. And you think Mr. Barnaby would be happy to share his invitation? Let us first find him, then we can see if he is the generous type. I'm going to say probably not going to be the most enthused about that. Why can't I change my goddamn clothes? Alright, so that's... Mr. Frank Barnaby. Do you know anything about this? Of course. Stop me when you've heard enough. The locals say he owns a shop in Chinatown called Barnaby's Hidden Gems. Well, that's easy enough. Mr. Frank Barnaby. How marvelous, Holmes. A city within a city. Indeed, those lanterns are delightful. It is as though we have been transported to the Orient itself. And he just comes up and he's like, hello! And you're like, oh my god. <laughs> Barnaby's Hidden Gems. That's what we're looking for. A shop called Barnaby's Hidden Gems. What's through here, eh? I don't know. It's just an alleyway. Hmm? Barnaby's hidden gems. Well, look at that. Let us go inside then. Locked. No one's here. Mm. Mr. Frank Barnaby. Don't seem to be at home. Actually. What if he's down at the pub? Can I ask you a question? It isn't possible for me to help you. I'm sorry. Lame. Well, if no one's home, then we might do a little bit of breaking and entering, eh? Is this familiar to you? It isn't possible for me to help you. I'm sorry. Oh my god, he said the same thing in the same way. Oliver's barber shop first class cuts. America, Holmes. I never thought I should be so lucky as to visit. Yeah, you are lucky, Limey. Anyway. Do 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 Blackwood Canning Factory. The kiss of the sea. Can you pet the cat? This is an important question. No, you cannot. Maybe I can at least look in the window, see if he is there. Oh, I can. Rather unassuming for a jewelry store. Damn, he at it again. Barnaby still owes you. If he can't pay in greenbacks, he'll pay in blood. May I ask you something? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I help you. Two gentlemen say that Barnaby owns some money. He's a known alcoholic and is currently getting drunk at the local bar called the Giddy Gator in the Creole Quarter. You may recognize by yellow hat and green jacket. Well then. Let's go steal his shit. May I ask for your assistance? You better ask someone else about that. And what about you? Excuse me, just one question. I don't wish to be rude, but I don't have a clue about this. Lame. I must get to the Creole Quarter. St. Louis Cathedral. Hmm. 